Hi friends, good evening and welcome to my channel. Daily we are seeing important exam based points. Today's topic is from microbiology section. Points we can see father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur and father of bacteriology is Robert Koch. In the very next point, father of antiseptic surgery is Joseph Lisner and father of chemotherapy is Paul Eldridge and father of immunology is Edward Jenner and the next point we can see flagella flagella are organ of locomotion in motile bacteria so this is an flagella is a locomotory organ in moving bacteria so the according to the arrangement of flagella bacteria are classified into monotrichous first one monotrichous monotrichous means single flagella at one end amphitrichous means single flagella at both ends so in picture we can see monotrichous monotrichous means single flagella at one end amphitrichous means in both ends one one flagella and peritrichous means flagella attach all over the body over the body the flagella is there and lophotrichous means tuft of flagella at one end at one end there is a, a tuft there is a group of flagella that is called lophotrichous so in picture we can see the peritrichous and lophotrichous see the peritrichous in all over the body flagella is attached and uh, lophotrichous means in one end there is a tuft of flagella that is lophotrichous very next point, Shield Nelson staining is also known as acid fast staining, is used to identify mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium leprae. So, Shield Nelson staining is used for the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis and mycobacterium leprae. And the next point, gram staining is used for identification of almost all bacteria. So, gram staining is used for the identification of most of the bacteria. It helps to differentiate gram positive and gram negative bacteria. This gram staining was discovered by gram in 1884. And the next point, alber staining is used for the identification of corneal bacterium diphtheria. Here, Shield Nelson staining is used for the identification of mycobacterium tuberculosis and Albert staining is used for identification of corneal bacterium diphtheria. And next point, diphtheria bacillus was discovered by Klebs and Lofer. Diphtheria bacillus. And next point, diphtheria toxin was discovered by A. O. Behring. And the next point, diphtheria toxin was discovered by Rox and Ershin. And the next point, hospital acute infection is also known as nosocomial infection. And the very next point, duodenal ulcer is found mostly in individual of blood group O. So, the blood group O is most prone for duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer is more common in a person with blood group A. And the full form of ELISA is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay that is ELISA. And the next point blood group O is known as universal donor and blood group AB is known as universal recipient. And the very next point optimum temperature for majority of bacteria is 37 degree Celsius. So most of the bacteria grow in 37 degree Celsius. Some bacteria grow in different uh, temperature. We can see that bacteria grows in between 20 degree Celsius to 50 degree Celsius is known as mesophilic bacteria and between 55 degree Celsius to 80 degree Celsius is known as thermophilic bacteria and below 20 degree Celsius is known as psychrophilic bacteria. And the very next point, Ferris test is used for the diagnosis of lymphogranuloma. Ferris test for lymphogranuloma and Wells Felix test is used for the diagnosis of typhus fever. For typhus fever, Wells Felix test. And Vodal test is used for the diagnosis of enteric fever or typhoid fever. Vodal test. And lepromin test is used for the diagnosis of leprosy. And the very next point. Ascariasis lumbricoid is known as a round worm and in cyclostoma duodenally is known as hook worm and tinea saginata is known as beef tapeworm and tinea solium is also known as pork tapeworm 
and echinococcus gran granulosus is also known as dogtapworm this is an important question important points and the next point hundred day cuff is known as whooping cuff whooping cuff is also known as hundred day cuff and barometer of social welfare is tb this is also an important important point and white plague is also known as tb white plague and barometer of social welfare is tb and slim's disease is aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome and breakbone fever is dengue and bla black sickness is kala azar black sickness and black death is also known as plague black death and the very next point pleomorphic rashes is seen in chicken pox and also dew drop rashes is on the skin is also chicken pox pleomorphic rashes and dew drop rashes both in chicken pox and 3d measles is also known as rubella 3d measles and the next point hansen's disease is also known as leprosy and rubella is also known as german measles rubella is also known as german measles and eighth day disease is known as tetanus neonatorum so tetanus neonatorum is known as eighth day disease